What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to mine mana, the central land mana, using the Unminable app and also some minor programs for CPU and GPU which will deliver additional performance. If you are not familiar with mana, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. To give you an idea, in CoinGecko.com the coin is ranking as 40 and the price is $3.84. First thing you need to do is download a wallet, could be Atomic Wallet, Trust Wallet, Exodus, so you can get a public address to receive funds. Once you have this, you are going to go and you are going to open your Windows Security and we are going to be placing an exclusion on a folder. So we go to Virus and Threat Protection, we go to Manage Settings, scroll down, Exclusions, and we are going to place an exclusion on a folder so we can download the files there. In my case, uh, under the desktop, I have the exclusions folder, so I would just select that one and place the exclusion there. Now we're going to go to onminable.com, download, and we are going to download the file on the left, which is the MFI version. We're going to download inside the exclusions folder. We are going to press Ctrl J on Chrome, so we, we can keep the dangerous file, keep anyway. I'm going to show in folder. And then from here, we need to extract the app. So we go to extract here. Once we have the unminable miner, we right click it, click run as administrator. Once the program loads, we're going to click continue. If we have a GPU, a graphics card, and it is at least four gigabytes, we are going to select this option. If not, we can select CPU, click next. We are going to enter uh, the details of the coin, in this case mana. We are going to uh, use our address for mana and this code e4xd-wmzl so we can drop the dev fee from 1% to 0.75% um, it's gonna be in the description of the video, we click start and from here you're gonna allow one minute so that this ramp up we are going to go to the settings, make sure you are in the in high intensity, name your worker, your code, click save and restart. And on the lower left corner, we are going to see our hash rate in a, just a minute. So we are mining around 1200 um, hashes per second, which is okay. I'm going to show you now a different way using the miner software directly, and this will uh, increase the hash rate. So we click stop, we go to our um, exclusion folder. In this case, I have two programs. I have XMRIG for CPU and GMiner for GPU mining. We're gonna start first with XMRIG. I did a modification to this one so that when you run the start mining as administrator, it will um, request all the um, details that you need to complete. In this case, mana as the coin. I'm going to place a copy, copy paste uh, the address. Then you select the location closer to you. You name your worker. Wait a few seconds. And after that, the program um, is running. We another modification that, that I did was uh, getting rid of this donation fee. So you can get an extra 1%. We're going to leave this one running for a second. And we're going to go and do the same for um, the GPU. So similar process, start mining, right click, run as administrator, and the program will uh, ask all the details again. In this case, uh, you type mana, your address, location, and then depending on your card, if it is four gigabytes, you will type etc hash. If it's more than four gigabytes, uh, et hash. Then um, the name of the worker, and you hit enter and it will start mining. In my case, I cannot mine with this coin, uh, with this um, graphics card because it's uh, one gigabyte, but it should start running. So um, coming back to XMRIC, we can see that it's connecting to the pool. Everything is configured for you. You just press the letter H and you will see your hash rate. In my case, it's uh, 1,600, a little bit more. Uh, I'm recording at the moment, so it's not gonna be mining at, at full speed. So this is all there is to it. I'm available um, 
on Telegram. Uh, the link is in the description. You can contact me if you have questions uh, in relation to the Satoop uh, optimizations, any trouble you run into. Thanks for watching and I see you on the next video.